And Sophie. And Corina. And Sophie, oh, Corina, I didn't know, but I can't move the foot charge. I just, we have both of them. Corina, I mean, I mean, I can't get one. She blinkles. All right, did you mean? That's why we're changing languages. Corina, how are you doing? Good. How are you? Thank I'm you. I'm very well, thank you. I'm getting it a little bit there. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, what time did you wake up this morning, Corina? Uh, five o'clock. You, oh, oh you're, cause you're telling us all about your, My your jet, jet lag. lag. Yes, I woke up at 1 a.m. and then back, and then tried to get myself back to sleep for a couple of hours. So at 3 o'clock, I went back to sleep and back up for 5 to get ready. <laughs> wow, okay. And uh, why are you jet lagged? Where have you come from? I've come from New York. Okay. Over to see your Sophie. Mm-hmm. Yes. Um, uh, our management company has sent me one of her songs in New York, which I loved, and, and they said, "Would you be interested in recording it?" I said, "Absolutely." Who wrote it? And they said, "A 17-year-old." And I said, "Oh my God, you're kidding me!" So the um, EasyJet actually sent us uh, some tickets. It took care of everything, and um, thank you to them. Mm-hmm. They brought me over here within the week. We had everything, and we've already been in the studio for three or four days getting everything done. Okay. Wow. Well, and and so when will you be done by? Um, this Friday. Okay. I'm leaving. Okay. And, and <laughs> when will? <laughs> oh, yeah, hopefully, fingers crossed. Okay. And what's the name of the song? Can we say what the name of the song yeah, is? Or not? Yeah, love them so. Okay, love them so. And when will it be? When will it be out? When will we be able to play it? Uh, I would say a couple of months probably because yeah. we have to, uh, complete production. Uh, okay. We're just doing guide vocals today, and then tomorrow will be the real vocals. Like it's a long process. Okay. It's <laughs> a long process. And so, did you did you two know each other before or not? No, no, not at all. <laughs> okay, right. Well, She's like my little sister now. <laughs> well, ah, oh, that's nice. Well, we'll uh, we'll be chatting a little bit more about about all that's happening. Plus, we do do something with all all the guests who come into the show. So I don't know if, I don't know if, if Sophie told no. me this. No. Oh, no, no, no. <laughs> I've left it as a surprise. We, actually, we, we, we have a national sport. Have you ever been to Malta before? No, never. Okay, we have a national sport here in Malta, which is called Brass Slingshot. <laughs> and what we do, what we do, we, what we do with Brass Slingshot is it's, it's we very, use that bra, right? It, yeah, yes, yes, yes. <laughs> yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. No cheating. We what we do is we actually we shoot, we shoot um, this little piece of crunch stuff paper, <laughs> and we've got we've got like a, 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 a table, a league table, and everything. And Sophie's actually. I think in in seventh or eighth place. So she's not she's not bad at this. And what you have to do is you actually you have to shoot Mom would be so proud. like that. Yeah. yeah. So you have to shoot. So so um, yeah. So you can do that in a okay. in, in a little while. So we we're just going to play our power play and go into some ads, and then after that um, we'll talk more about what you're up to. Plus we'll see how, just how good you are at brassing. Oh, we'll be practicing. Mm-hmm. I've still got. Sophie, Sophie and Karina. in the studio with me and um, Karina, let's have a little bit of a chat about Hasselhoff. Just a bit of a chat. <laughs> okay, well, um, for obviously you and you and and the Hoff know each other, yeah. right? Yeah. And how how do you know each other? Oh, well, long story. I was on America's Got Talent a couple of years back, mm-hmm. and he picked me as his wild card, where they bring you back onto the show because he liked what I did. Yes. And then after the show, we ended up becoming friends. He he came up to me and was uh, asking, "Where do I perform in New York?" and blah blah blah. And I told him, "You know, I'm in the Tavern the Green," and blah blah blah. And sure enough, he called me when he was in New York, and we went out to dinner. And we became good friends. So. Okay. Then we ended up working together. Try. No, we did not date. <laughs> <laughs> the big question on everyone's mind. Okay. No. No, okay, you did it there. But he was a little bit flirty. He was right? a little bit of a chancer, but it didn't happen. <laughs> okay. So, not your type? No, not really my type. He's. I told him he was too famous for me. Because, wow, really? Yeah, he just has too many things going on, and I'd prefer a guy who's more interested in just going to the movies and hanging. Okay, out. so w- w- was really was that the real reason, or was it because he's like yeah, ninety he's, years old? Same age as my dad. <laughs> <laughs> so, so basically, people who are too famous, they're, they're sort of out. So, yeah, they're right. too busy doing their thing. Yeah, so, right. so I don't really have I'm a chance. purple right now. <laughs> <laughs> you are a little bit. But basically, so I don't really have a chance either. <laughs> Wait, you're married. <laughs> oh, yeah, I just, oh, yeah, I just use that. Oh, I forgot about that. Okay. <laughs> so tell us about, about um, America's Got Talent. What was that all about? How did that happen? And, America's Got Talent, um, randomly, there was a Simon Cowell's doing a new show. My grandmother read it and said, why don't you give it a shot? I said, I can't really, you know, not, I can't lose anything from trying. So I did. I went out and I sang With or Without You and played the harp and sang. Mm-hmm. And luckily they liked it. They picked me to come back and I was on the show three or four times. You know, I didn't think I was going to win, but I thought I'd get a bit of exposure. So yeah. they see me. And yeah. a lot of people did. A lot of people bought albums and things like that. I got a lot of big shows. And cool. Hasselhoff and I did a lot of shows too, so. 
All right. Are, are, you st- are you still in touch with, with Hasselhoff or not? Yeah, really? not really. Not, not in a while now. <laughs> okay. All right. We go. did a show last year in Austria, and he had like 10,000 people at a sold-out concert, so that was good. Wow. Okay, wow. So no chance of maybe a Hasselhoff, Sophie and Karina sort of three. Hello. Yeah. <laughs> he loves blonde, so yo. <laughs> there you go. There you go. Tell mom and dad about that. <laughs> yeah. yeah, they're not going to be very happy, are they? With the way this... <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Right. Okay. And so, apart from all that, you you were also involved with um, a Sex in the City advert. What yes. Was that all about? They. That's a few years back. They um, called me to see <clears throat> somebody happened. Excuse me. To hear my song. Another day it was a dance track. Mm-hmm. If like if they could use it on the commercials for Sex in the City, and I was like, absolutely. And yeah. So it's played here. It's still played here and there. If you watch it on cable TV at home, okay. randomly, if you're up at like two o'clock in the morning, you'll still hear it. <laughs> yeah, brilliant. And. Also, can you tell us, you've also got a website, so if people want to find out a little bit more about you, yeah. what's the website? It's just my name, KarinaBruder.net. Mm-hmm. Okay, KarinaBruder.net. Okay, now, after this next track, we're going to be playing a bit of brass shot. So, I don't know, I don't know if you want to... Wait, I'm supposed to be practicing with the, the bravo. The, 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 the bras, the bras right here, so obviously... <laughs> You're a woman who's hung out with the Hoff, so I'm expecting a lot. <laughs> I'm expecting a lot from you. High expectations. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Champion, Chris Brown, for giving my chipmunk for XFM. Man up, I don't know, Sophie or Karina. Hello, girls. Hello. Right, so, um, Karina, Bill Clinton. Gosh, you've got a bit of a varied CV, don't you? Hats off. Clinton, right? <laughs> yes, but again, I just said it was before all the scandal. It, okay, it was before all the scandal. So, so how was well, what was that all about? How did that all happen? Um, when we were, I, when I was younger, I had a family band of th- there's four girls and one boy, and yep. we all played music and sang and danced. And uh, it all started because my young sister was run over by a drunk driver when we were kids. Ooh. And she lived. She's fine. She's okay. married two kids. Thank God. Okay, great. And um, she, when she was in the hospital, nobody would ever come and perform or entertain. She was there for six months in a body cast. Okay. So I would come in with my piano and do little Irish pieces here and there and entertain okay. or whatever. Anyway, long story short, my um, mother had five children then a few years later. Uh, oh, you know. A few, quite a few years yeah. later, <laughs> and we all um, would perform different places. And somebody just happened to see us and said, "There's a St. Patrick's Day event coming up. Would you guys be interested?" Because in you've got you've got Irish roots, right? Yeah, Your my family. father is yeah. from okay. Ireland. Okay. So. Yeah, so we went down there, and um, I remember the Secret Service agent said one of the members of the uh, uh, White House would like to meet you, of the President Chill family, and we were like, "Yes, this is amazing! Oh my God, we're going to meet Chelsea, you know, the daughter." Yeah. And they brought out the cat. Socks, and we were like, "Are you serious?" The cat. We were so disappointed. So we were only like young, but we were so disappointed. So later on in the evening, when we got to perform, the guy was the secret service agent came back and said, "Listen, I'd like you to come meet uh, the president." So we got to go down and shake his hand. Wow, and Mrs. and everybody. So that must have been wonderful. horrible shaking his hand. Was it like all? No, he was really stuff. nice. He was oh, very yeah. handsome, and the wife was beautiful. They were very yeah. nice, and they were very family oriented. They're like, "Come on around, take a family picture." They let my mom and dad come in, and everything was really well, nice. Okay, and Hillary was was sort of all right looking. Yeah, she was in those beautiful days. in real life. She doesn't picture as well. She's no, no, very pretty. Certainly not. One hundred point two. Still with Sophia Greena. Okay, so guys, what's the plan for today? What are you guys up to today? Today we are right after here. We're heading over to the studio to get working mm-hmm. on Sophie's song. Okay, that's every day this week. Every basically. day this week. Okay, so is it is it really exciting though, Sophie? Are you really sort of? Yeah, I'm so excited. I can't believe like Karina kind of believed in my music and liked my music. Just Be something honest, I threw you're probably together. bored out of your mind. No, I'm really not. <laughs> I feel I'm really bad learning. Sitting in the studio, also <laughs> just listening to me scream and roar, sing. <laughs> I'm really learning a lot though. I so you, so you actually you wrote you wrote the whole thing, did you? Yeah, I wrote the. Melody and the lyrics. And okay. Thanks to well. Elton Zara, people put some music to it. So. Yep, yep. He's quite good like that. He's amazing. Yeah, okay. <laughs> yeah, we had it and we're just having a blast in the studio. Really. And what's it all about? What do you mean? <laughs> well, the, the, the song. What's, what's the song? Oh, all about? it's kind of about when you lose someone, whether it's like through them passing away or them moving away, just losing contact, mm-hmm. and just remembering the good times you had together. Looking at that old box, like with all the black and white photos and stuff wow, like that. Wow, okay, wow. So it's a bit mysterious. Yeah, <laughs> well, 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 and how long did it take you to, to write it and to put it all together? Um, it was a while ago, actually, so it didn't take too long, like okay. a week, Max. Okay, wow, okay, wow, very talented. Okay, so, um, Karina, what do you think about Malta? There's no need to say, oh, I love it, blah, blah, blah. Just say whatever you think. First thing that comes to your head. I do love it because everything's <laughs> beautiful. It's so clean. I was telling her, I mean, I, I, we've just been going back and forth to the studio, so I haven't right. really gotten a proper tour yet. But So the studio's pretty clean. 
<laughs> no, but I mean just the streets. Everything is so nice and clean and beautiful, and the sun is shining. Even when it's cold, it's nice. I love it. Okay, so how- I'm from New York, so it, everything is filthy and dirty, and there's food and graffiti and crap all over the place. <laughs> and how hot was it? How cold was it in New York before you left? It hit us. Our first storm came an hour Ooh. after I left, oh, so brilliant. I just missed it. Thank God. Brilliant, brilliant. <laughs> the guy was lucky like, with me. <laughs> uh-huh. Okay, and so honestly, what do you think about Sophie and the lyrics? What did you think when you received this? This. What was it? Was it an email? You got an email. I got an email with yeah. the song, and I wasn't expecting it because we were working, like I said, on John Barry's music. And he said, "Oh, what do you think about this song?" And I was like, "Oh, it's actually really beautiful." Uh, who wrote it? I said, did you write it? He said, no, one of our other artists. And I said, oh, she's a good songwriter. And, and I said, uh, who is she? So I can look her up. And I said, oh, she looks very young. He said, yeah, she's 17. <laughs> I was like, whoa, she writes really good music for a 17-year-old. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So Pretty deep. Okay. Better than myself. <laughs> 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 all right. And so, okay, so that's all brilliant. And you have got a gig coming up on, on Friday. I is do, that, huh? on Friday. It's okay. my very first Okay, so we just, need to, we just need to say, because um, of our friends down at the Broadcasting Authority, we need to say that this is a promotional message. So come on, tell us. <laughs> about your gig okay <laughs> it is my very first acoustic gig by myself just playing the guitar and singing along yeah um, at the fat harry's pub okay. in Virginia, so whoever wants to come down this friday night <laughs> i'm gonna be there perfect okay. thing. <laughs> that was that was uh, a promotional message um yeah so obviously if you want to post that we'll, we'll post we'll post all the details on our facebook page so if anybody Thank wants you. to <laughs> if anybody if anybody wants to know more just get on to um the Big Breakfast on XFM with Steve Ely. Um, the Lemo DM Big Breakfast on XFM with Steve Ely. Um, press like and then we'll accept you because we, we sort of, <laughs> we, we're, we're nice like that. Okay, so um, anything else you guys would like to say before you have to shoot off? Just thank you for like, yeah. um, inviting us onto the program, I guess. Thank you yeah. for having us. Okay, so um, ladies, thank you for coming in. Thank I you know, for having us. I know you've got a really, really busy day. We look forward to, to that song and we thank look you. forward to, to playing it on XFM. So okay. yeah, <laughs> enjoy, enjoy, the rest of, uh, enjoy the rest of your time here. Oh, we got an SMS from, for you as well. Okay. Um,